Okay, there, now it's recording. Okay, so we are all set up to do a solo playthrough of Unconscious Mind. Uh, we've got the id player up here and me here. We've got all of our drafted stuff. And so uh, the id will either do a state uh, ideas action or a recall action. And then and many time it gains stuff, it converts it to coffee, and then every four coffee, it automatically goes to heart-shaped boxes, and then at the end of its turn, it converts heart-shaped boxes into therapy points to try and clear, uh, treat their clients. Um, and so this is its action deck. <clears throat> Check nice and shuffled. If possible, the id places two ideas onto a vacant space within the target column. First preference is to place them onto the target idea space if it is vacant. Otherwise, it follows the target's column arrow to find the first vacant idea space in that direction. If the id reaches the top or bottom of the column, it continues in the same direction from the opposite end. Moving around. There are no vacant idea spaces within the target column. Skip the remaining state ideas step. And instead, the id will recall ideas. Uh, when you place the id's ideas on the meeting table, the direction in which you point the tails does not matter because the id does not trigger the effects of the meeting table action space. OK, so that it's just going to auto block something for me. The id places ideas from its supply, if available. If it has fewer than two ideas, the id places a bright idea for each missing idea. If it has fewer than two ideas or bright ideas, the id will recall ideas instead of placing ideas. And then we're going to advance its ink plot. It determines its ink plot movement value by counting the number of ink plot icons shown on the right of the ideas it placed on the meeting table this turn. So that's the same as what we do. The id moves its ink plot clockwise along its track, exactly as many spaces of movement value. Then the id triggers the effects where the, its ink plot ended its movement. Whenever the ink plot moves past the plus ideas, it unlocks the leftmost idea from the top of its player board. However, if there is a bright idea on top of the idea, it takes the bright idea instead. Oh, okay, so it's a little bit slower. It doesn't it doesn't go as fast as I thought it would do. Uh, the top space. The id triggers one unlocked column on its player board. If there are multiple unlocked columns, it triggers the column with the most notebook tiles flipped to their active sides. There's a tie, the id selects the rightmost tied column. Then from top to bottom, the id triggers the effects of each active notebook, tile, and unlocked insight space in the column. Whenever it lands on the leftmost space with the ink pot space, moves its ink pot the number of spaces equal to its movement value again. Yeah. If the ink plot moves two spaces and lands on the overlay token, it moves two, sp two more spaces. OK. Up or down. Oh, so what? Oh, OK, the target space and then up or down. OK. OK, id, here we go, I guess. Put that over there. OK, I can state ideas, recall ideas, or treat clients. 
um, that's on six. I need um, two green, so I would need to do a swap. So I can get one of these over here. Actually, I need to get three of them over here because I need to get one of them all the way up to here. So I can do one, two. And then we also need to get, oh, but then we need that up to there. Okay, so. But I really wanted to try the research stuff this time. So we're going to take two research actions. Because there is a red and a purple out here, and there's already a treatise out here. Oh, but I don't have any, I need to get a, a spot unlocked. So I have four coffee. So I'm gonna go here. Ooh, because this tile is amazing. Um, so I'm gonna take this tile. Um, so I spend two coffee to get this tile, and then I instantly do this. So I get a coffee location tag action, I believe. Uh, icon reference here. We are going to trigger a tag's location effects using the count tags option once for the tag shown plus any matching. Okay, so I have one coffee tag. Um, so I could get a coffee, I could convert a medium fire insight into a heart-shaped box, or I could get a fire insight. And I'm going to get a fire insight because we established that I'm going to need one to upgrade this card here. Um, can I move? Uh, that's just my player's color. Mm, I don't really have any space there. Table hog, table hog. This game is a table hog. Okay, and then I get to do that again. This automatically comes over here. Um, and now you flip this over and then you place it on your player board. Um, I'm going to put that in a fire spot because getting a fire one and then getting a fire thing, I guess. Um, so that's once and I get to do this again. So two more coffee and I'll get this one, which immediately gives me a, uh, insight of Chickenness. Got chicken insight. Here we go. I don't have it. And then I flip it over and place it on my player board. And now I have a completed row. So I get this into here and I get another minor insight. Let's throw that into plants. Okay, we've got a lot of insights going on here. Okay, that's my action. Now it reveals a card. Did I have any? No, I didn't do a uh, thing. Okay, so it reveals a card. It's going to place two ideas. Okay, one, two, three, uh, here. It's got the same idea as me. Okay, so it placed it, uh, I revealed the thing. Two ideas, okay, done. Skip the remaining state idea step and instead the idea will pull echo. Just, okay, now we advance. Oh, I forgot to advance my ink pot. Uh, so I'm supposed to advance my ink pot one space. So that goes here. I trigger another uh, this and another two of these, uh, but I don't have any more insights left so that was a waste so that was my ink uh pot space for revolver okay the id places here uh and then it moves its ink pot one and then it gets a coffee because any insights that it gets turn into coffee and then it does this first action Uh, is that a conversion at all? No. Okay. 
Ah. All of the id's actions are on the back of the solar rulebook. So the id moves Freud's figure up to one to three spaces, choosing the location that will trigger the most effects, either by counting figures or tags. If there is a tie, the id advances Freud to the first tied location clockwise. After moving Freud, the id triggers the location's effects, resulting in the id gaining one coffee per effect triggered. All right, so Freud is going to go to this spot because uh, it's going to trigger the most effects um, because there's two here. And so he's going to trigger two effects, which gives him two coffee. One, two. So they are at three coffee, so they do not convert yet. Um, I wish they dinged me when someone was chatting. That doesn't convert yet. Okay. Um, now, um, heart shaped boxes. The id, the top space, the id triggers one. Then it flips its leftmost inactive note tile in that row. Okay. When the it flips its third tile in a row or column, it immediately unlocks its player color insight in the given row or column. The it keeps its unlocked insights in its idea supply because it does not use an insight style. Okay, so then at the end of every turn, the id uses its heart-shaped boxes to produce therapy points and apply them to its clients. If it has one client, it uses as many heart-shaped boxes as possible to apply therapy points to the client. If the id has two clients, it uses as many heart-shaped boxes as possible to apply therapy points to both clients as evenly as possible. To do so, it uses the compass arrow once, determine which client to begin with, and then it applies one therapy point to each client in alternating order until it uses all its heart-shaped boxes or the clients are cued. As it applies therapy points to its clients, immediately resolve any effects such as scoring, victory points, reach catharsis, or curing a client. The id may gain heart-shaped boxes from conversions while resolving its effects. If so, also apply these to its clients. Whenever a client of the id reaches catharsis, discard the grief layer, place the topmost overlay tile from the corresponding column onto the client card. If it is a routine client, place the topmost routine client overlay tile on the effect area of the client card replacing the client's usual effects with tiles, location, text. Oh, okay, so that's what they're for. And if it is a case study client, I replace it with its scoring tags. Huh. Interesting. And then it drafts new clients for each vacant office. Compass error to determine which clients to draft from the display. As in the setup, when the id selects a manifest dream, it takes the card with the most therapy points, breaking ties with the compass arrow. Yeah, but how do I decide if it takes a basic client or a advanced client? So that's what it means by the arrow. Add case study clients in the secondary office room. It uses the compass arrow to determine which clients to draft from the display, as in setup. Uh, oh, there's an example. Nope, that's just for the heart shaped boxes. Okay, um, so we did card, placing things, moved its ink spot, resolved its ink block spots. Um, it got some coffee and then we tried to treat clients. So now their turn is over and it's back to me. Now I'm going to do a research action and I'm going to draw a card and then I may swap this with any of those. Um, this gives me a uh, basic spark, so I'll keep that for now. Um, and then it's the id's turn. It has two two ideas, so it's going to place again because it is going to place based off of being able to place. Um, that spot is taken, so it takes the next spot down. And then it's going to drop two ink blot spots. Uh, and so it's going to get a copy, which is four, so that immediately turns into a heart-shaped box. And did I flip the wrong tile? Because he now won't have a tile action. Uh, 
the id flips its leftmost inactive notebook tile in that row. Okay, I did that. Did I set up the tiles wrong? No. So what does that icon mean then? So I flip that tile now, is that what that is? What happens if it lands on an inactive tile? Counting the response, done. Then it triggers the effects where it's input and it is movement. This one has all of them flipped over. Oh, okay. So it's just going to flip this over. Because at the end of their turn, they flip over the leftmost tile. Okay. So now it's my turn. I have to recall my ideas. So I get two coffee because I have two different idea spots on the board. Um, recalling ideas, gain coffee, recover all ideas from the board to preserve, collect a city bonus. Choose a location with either my meeple or Freud. From that location, choose a bonus pool, district bonuses, or location bonuses. Place the top district token on the top of an uncovered bonus and get that match. Oh, okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to take the reputation. So that moves Freud along and me along. And we're going to take a research. Um, that is a red research. I already have one of those. So I'm going to swap that with the purple. Now we have a red and a purple because this duder, I don't know what he's doing. Um, so I took the district bonus instead of this. Uh, I collect a city bonus, my meeple or Freud. Uh, and then That's my recall. And at the end of my turn, I can try and heal people. I don't have what it takes to heal anybody yet. Or no, not, not at the end of my turn. That's the whole turn. At the end of my turn, I spend heart-shaped boxes. I don't have any. I don't need to draft a new client. OK, so now we go on to the id, and so the id is going to recall ideas. So it's going to get coffee as well. So it's getting two coffee. It spent its bright idea. It's two coffee. Uh, two slash or slash. That is a lot of icons for number two, so I have no idea. Recall. Counts the different idea spaces at the mini table. Gains coffee. Returns its ideas to the supply. Claims a recall bonus. See below. The id prefers to claim a district bonus <coughs> if it has an unlocked player color insight. 
which it doesn't, and meets the conditions. If the districts with the ID is Professor and Freud, in the districts with the I, it's Professor, Professor and Freud, the, it selects the highest value vacant bonus slot where the it has location tags matching the district equal to or exceeding the bonus number. If tied, the id selects the district with the professor. The id takes an unlocked player color insight from its idea supply area and places it on the number above the selected slot. Then it places the topmost token from the district onto the slot and triggers the slot's effects. The id claims a location bonus. If it is not able to claim a district bonus, e.g. does not have an available player color insight or enough location tags, which it does not. That is in the wrong spot in the rulebook. The id claims okay, uh, the id claims the highest vacant location bonus from the location with its professor or Freud. If tied, the id selects the location with its professor. It places the topmost district token from its location district onto the slot and triggers the slot's effect. The id uses a token showing a reputation point to claim a bonus. It gains the point after resolving the slot's effects. Okay. So the id is going to do the same thing. When he's going to take this, that is a plus icon. So that is a heart-shaped box that they get. Oh, I forgot to use the heart-shaped boxes on their turn. Because how did it get a heart-shaped box? Oh, it had four coffee. I cheated already. Okay, so last turn it used one heart-shaped box to cure this client, but it did nothing. And now it just got a heart-shaped box because of this, and it got a reputation. Is that it? How does it get bright ideas? I forgot how it did that. No, oh, only from that. <clears throat> yeah, I think it only gets two more bright ideas in the game. So there's like two two turns when it gets to do two turns instead of one. Okay, I think I got it. And then they use heart shaped boxes again. So they heal them, point one, and that goes like that. Okay, back to me. I um I have this uh color now. Um can I take that color off of my insight wheel to publish a treatise? Um set up reputation, idea, meaning tail actions, locations of death, publish and treatises. Oh, wait, I have to play the cards first. So I can't do that anyway. So I'm going to come here with one. And I am going to play two research cards. This one gives me this insight. This one gives me a heart-shaped box. Uh, I can't get this insight because I don't have the spending for it. Then I move two ink pots, one, two. I can convert a coffee into a major fire insight. I don't have any insights again. This is becoming a problem. It's very inefficient. Uh, I can spend a coffee. Okay, I can spend. Oh, but if I spend a coffee, I don't have two coffee. Oh, but it's only one coffee. Okay. So I spend a coffee to decrease an insight <clears throat> so that I can spend another coffee to get a major red, which I need for this, so I can treat the client next turn. Okay, it's turn. Places two on, <laughs> on my spot. Uh, so and then it goes down. So it blocks this spot here. Then it's going to move three ink pots. 
um, one, two, and three. Uh, it's going to move Freud, right? It moves Freud, figure one to three spaces, choosing location that trigger the most effects. And if it's tied, it goes to the first next one, two, and three. So it just goes to the first next location clockwise. Um, they have no tags yet. Um, so it just gets one. Um, insight, which gets turned into a copy. And then we have this next tile that they activate. The id moves its professor on the city map. The, id, the id's professor is not in Freud's location. Move it there. Done. If the id's professor is in Freud's location, it moves professor one to two spaces, triggers another location that will trigger the most. After moving its professor, the id triggers a location effects, resulting in the id gaining one copy per effect triggered. So now there's two people there. It's going to trigger two effects, so it gets two more copy. Four copy immediately gets turned into one heart-shaped box. Uh, where did my reference card go? Whoop, there it is. So that's resolving the ink block, and then it flips the leftmost tile. It's now unlocked a insight that it can use to publish later. Dangerous, but I guess I did too. Um, it does not get the reward under there, I believe it said, when it unlocks an insight. Uh, da, 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 top space. Bottom space. The id does not immediately trigger the effect shown underneath a newly unlocked player color insight. Good. <clears throat> uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay. Um, then it treats this client, which triggers a catharsis. Select tiles there. It triggers a catharsis. They get a bright idea. And two coffee. And then they get their thing. This is pointing this way, so they're going to take a basic um, why do they get a dream card then? Um, catharsis triggers removing that card though. Do they get the effects when they remove the card? Place the topmost overlay tile from the corresponding column onto the client card. Oh, okay, so this goes on here. Um, I'm assuming it's getting a point because I discard that card. Because that's three points. Hmm. It uses heart shaped boxes to produce their points and apply them to its clients. As it applies therapy points to its clients, immediately resolve any effects such as scoring victory points, reaching catharsis, or curing a client. Okay. It may gain heart shaped boxes on conversions while resolving its effects. If so, also apply those to the client. Whenever a client with it reaches catharsis, place the topmost overlay tile from the corresponding column onto the client card. Okay. So then let's reference catharsis in the rules. Rules. Rules, is that a Rules. Oh, and it dropped it. A client, so that goes there, this is here, get me one of these. It gets a random one of these. And then it takes the highest, it's tied, so it takes the last one. And then it flips again.
resolve catharsis, score the victory points, and trigger any effects on the grief layer. Now has the enabled effects, which are the new solo effects. Treat a client, follow these steps. Use the therapy shown on the fully. Oh, it doesn't take a treat client step, so it was not doing that. Okay, catharsis doesn't trigger removing the dreams, so do they just never remove dreams? End of every turn, they use the shaped box to produce therapy points and apply them to the clients. So apply therapy points to clients. If it has two clients, they jump, we apply therapy points to clients immediately, and they're attacked. Catharsis, place the topmost overlay tile, which are trapped in clients. Okay, no, because it's this office, it does take an advanced one, but it was pointing this way, so it would take this one instead of this one. And that's what that means. All right, and that's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they get two points. Gross. So I guess it just never gets rid of dream cards until the client is healed. So that's just to refresh the dream cards for me. Again, so that I have a choice. Okay, so it used its heart shaped boxes to treat its clients. Back to me. I can't publish my treat scene. Um, but I'm going to do a treat client because I now have a major red and two minor. Greens, I get three therapy points. One, two, three, that triggers catharsis, and I get a bright idea. Bright idea. I use this card, so it gives us away. And now I'll trigger catharsis, so I get another bright idea. You can only really see this bright idea and two coffee. Another bright idea. And I open up my, my haunted house as well. Also get grief players. Oops. Okay, I would like to try and double up. We got eyeball, eyeball, cloud, eyeball. We got eyeball, eyeball, cloud, and eyeball cloud. Okay, so eyeball cloud. Got a latent dream. Research. Latent dream. My eyeball cloud. And that is. And let's take this one because. Um, clients treated for three points each, or treatises and something. Player color insights in a district above a bonus slot, or. Leopold von Schroeder, for each of your player color insights on treatises and or district bonus slots, score three victory points. Yep, yeah. that's the route I'm voting for, so we'll take that. They have six, so that scores me a point for taking on that level of a client. Uh, 
close to my treat clients, my catharsis. Uh, I can oh I can spend heart shaped boxes so I'll spend one heart shaped box to push this person one more actually no I'll do it to push this person one more um, because they have three four five here and so now this is at five you can't see that though and this one needs three but it has only two left so we'll get there okay that's my turn it has a bright idea. So they're going to use it to do a turn. Oops, this one. And I'm going to do it in this spot again, which is one ink spot tile, which is here, which just triggers this. And they get an insight, which gives them a copy, which is four, which gets turned into a heart shaped box, which gets turned into a treatment. Um, when they have two, they're spending equally favoring the arrow. So that goes there, and then the arrow goes over here. And then this was empty, so we just flipped that. Keep removing my reference card. Treat clients. Well, yeah, we just did the treat clients. <clears throat> okay, my turn again. I'm going to work on the railroad. All the live long day, we're going to publish a treatise with my purple and my red, uh, which is this one here, which gives me eight points. Take me a ten. Why is this one? We're both up to that point, not two. And then these just get tucked away. And I'm supposed to put these in a row so that when um, he goes to cite me later, he's got something to do. I do it. Oh. Hey, Bubble. Are you going to come say hi? <laughs> no, we're not, not say hi, but come say hi. Come here. Nope. Yeah, hi, buddy. You look over here, up at the camera. Over here, nope, this one. No, this camera. Yeah, we got these shoulders. Oh, Okay. Love you. Kisses. Okay, love you. Bye. Um, publish. Pick a treatise tile, use a color insight. Oh, right, the color insight goes on here. So I don't have that anymore. Score the number of points. The location tags shown now count on my city, so I now have two different purple location tags. And I'm in purple. And then I could cite Mr. Id. Okay, it's Id's turn. They're out of ideas. But they should have had this idea, which should have triggered another movement, which would have triggered one more coffee. Not bad. Um, but they don't get that idea. They spent that. Where did these come from? Those cardboard ones? Or maybe those are the rewards of the clients.
Okay, so it unlocks the thing and I have a left idea. Oh, okay, I did that wrong. Okay, so no, they don't move yet because that triggers when they stopped there. They just passed that to get that. Next time they pass that, they're going to get the bright idea. And then they pass that again, they're going to get the thing again. Okay, I still have an action and a bright idea still. Um, we're going to go raising and swapping. We're going to do this twice. Um, we need a bird and a sprout. So we're going to do the swap and then the race. Okay, so that's one. Then we need a chickadee and a passion. Uh, so that's two. And then we can do a swap. Um, we have what we need there to go over there. The next up on this one will be green. So we'll swap this to a green. So we don't need the miner. And so the bright eye, the, uh, Idea token here can be used to give you two actions. Ugh. Okay, I move three ink bots. One, two, three. Get my new idea. Um, get a green and two of these, but I don't have two ink sets available. Um, so instead, what I'll do, I'm getting that and that, I'm going to spend my bright idea to go down an ink plot so that I can actually trigger this entire row, which is get two, convert one to an idea to get that idea back, but I get to convert a coffee to a major passion. I think that was right. I'm just wondering if I had to have it in order to do that to gain the benefit shown on the right. The benefit is a major passion insight. The general concepts section. Minor, medium, major. Oh. Growth, freedom, and passion. The center reserve. Hmm, okay, I can't tell any difference, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, the id has resources again. Uh, so it blocks this spot. Moving four ink spots. One, two, three, four. It's circle. It gets a bright idea. It moves this again. It's a copy. Um, Moves Freud, gets two more copy. Uh, oh no. Checks this off. What's that one?
Okay, it's going to select the rightmost and the leftmost, so it takes this one. It now has a lot of tags. And then this turns. And then they get to elevate an insight. And they get an insight, so that's two more copy. And that goes down to one heart-shaped box. They're going to apply it to this person. This rotates. And the heart-shaped box goes away. So um, that's its turn. I can still take another turn. I have bright ideas and a token that I just got from moving. I need, uh, in order to publish more, I'm going to need a thing. So I need to do this twice. Oh, this has been gone the whole time. Whoops. Um, so I'd instantly get a coffee shop action, which is not that great. But I only have, I don't have any coffee shop tags. And I don't have those tags. Um, ooh, but this is a publish. But I need three coffee. I only have one cup. Oh, I only have one coffee. I can't even do this. So I have to go here. And I can only do it once. Uh, and so I'll just take this one, which is convert anything to a... Uh, here so I can do the suppression before with coffee and then spend it to get the heart-shaped box. Okay, now it's back to id. That spot is taken. Nope, no, it's not. It's here. Moves three ink bots. One, two, three. It landed on its own spot, so it immediately goes three again. One, two, three. Gets its next thing here. Resolves this. Draws a research card and immediately swaps it with one of the two face up research cards to determine the compass arrow. Okay, so it takes this card and uh, swaps it with this card. Has this one. And then this turns. And it got one of those, so that got it a coffee. Okay, my turn. I need to recall. I have one, two, three, four different spots, so I get four coffee. Spend that bright idea. Um, and then I need to do a location, right? Choose a location where I am or Freud is. Okay, so I am at the lady, uh, the opera house. I am at the opera, and I have an opera tag, so that would give me two of these. Um, so I'm going to go with the two, and I can, I need to get, I'll do one raise because I need the chickadee. For this, so I have the fire and the chickadee to do this card. And I need the bird, which I have, and the sprout, which I have to do this card. And then this is the flower and any diamond. Um, I could get a diamond out of that. Oh no, that's a hexagon. Uh, so I need to do another raise. So the two actions I did were two raises because of that. Um, that's the recall. Oh, I did that wrong. Nope. That's not what I get. I get... Wait, what? No. Location bonuses, the vertical. Or the district bonus. Uh, 
And if they look this up again, recalling. They can claim a district or location bonus. Choose a location with your professor or Floyd. Freud, place the topmost district token from this location district onto any vacant bonus slot at that location and trigger the slots at effect. Okay. Or requires a player color and say, oh, okay, I don't have that. So where I am or Freud is, I'll do where Freud is then so that I can do this and I'm gonna get a research paper. So that bumps me and Freud goes up here. And I will take, I get a research thing. This is a red. I don't know, we need red. It's not played yet, so it's face down. And I did the reputation. Okay, that's my recall. He now has a bright idea. So they're going to do a two action. And this spot. And do three ink blots. One, two, three. Okay, they landed in their top row, so they get this. Or they surpass that, so they get this. When they land in their top row, something special happens. They have a lot of coffee, I believe. Triggers one unlocked column on its player board. Uh, if there are multiple unlocked columns, triggers the column with the most notebook tiles flipped. So their active side, if there's a tie, and selects then from the top to bottom, the it triggers the effects of each active notebook tile and unlocked inside space in the column. Oh yeah, it's supposed to have an insight. So it's gonna unlock that inside space. Um, that's a coffee. They move themselves or Freud, right? Oh no, that one's Freud. Remove Freud, give some coffee, that's four coffee. That's one heart-shaped box. And they swap this research card with this one. Then rotate this. Oh, and it was supposed to have played those cards, which would have got it. Three more copy. Oh, which meant it should have hailed. Oh my god. Which meant it healed. I don't know, the arrow is over here. So it healed this person, which gave them a point. With that last copy and that last heart shaped box that they got from those three, so they have minus one. So they're actually at three right now and no heart shaped boxes. Thank you. Uh, now they do this. Discards the rightmost notebook tile from the bottom row of the meeting table display. It triggers the tile's banner effect, gains two coffee, and discards the tile from the game. Then it refills the display. This, this, they get two coffee. Now they have a heart shape box. And then it triggers a hexagon, which is two more coffee. And we're back up to three. And that gets discarded. That was its action. My turn. We need to treat clients, and I can treat two clients, which I'm going to do. So we've got a fire. Oh, wait, we're missing our. I'm cheating because I swear I had that. You know what? I'll just spend two coffee. And then I did have it because I elevated that up to there. And then I spent the major in that. 
Just two points, one, two, and a bright idea. Train catharsis, which is six points, and two, minor fire. six and it's an eyeball and an eyeball so that gives me a heart-shaped box uh, and then we're going to do the bird and the sprout for two one two um, and I get to activate a column which is Two of these, exchange one of them for a bright idea. Uh, let's spend a coffee to get a fiery idea. Uh, and we get a um, minor, which we're out of stuff for, so we can't do. Uh, and then we're going to spend one heart shaped box to cure this person. So I now have their effect all the time. Oh, when I researched, I should have got a coffee that last time. So I should get one coffee. You know, have uh, this guy permanently. Over there, that gives me 10 more points. So that's 36. No, that's 26. No, you can't. Um, that's an in-game card, so it doesn't matter. Now I have to draft a new client. Get a latent dream. This should be a place up here. Now this is another 10-pointer, so I'm going to pick this one. And it's got brown tags, and I have, oh wait, no, I have purple tags. I'll see any purple tags. Oh, and there should have been two of these. Green tags. Points. No, 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 that's fine. I don't want it. I'm taking this 10 pointer. So she starts at five. She has an eyeball on there. So I'm going to take an eyeball. And I've got a lot in fire right now. That refills. Um, that was my treat client action. They don't have anything, so they need to get one, two, three coffee and their bright idea. Uh, one, two, three, spent four for a heart shaped box. Mother trucker, I missed this again. Okay, they would have healed this person then. Scoring 10 points. Give me one of those cards. Yeah, 14. Um, and they draft. It's probably that way. Draft this person. Starts at five. And then they get the latent dream. It's turns. They take the highest therapy point card. Display, we build the display, or to get this again, or no, that didn't, that didn't take a card. Um, then they do their location, they have things now. So they're going to do the district bonus thing. He claims a location bonus if not able to claim a district or oh, district. With id or professor, the id selects the highest value vacant bonus slot where the id has location tags matching the district equal to or exceeding the bonus number. If tied, the id selects a district with its professor. They're both in the same district, so it doesn't matter. Oh, it just selects the highest spot, so it blocks this out for me, which gives it a reputation, which triggers the game timer. 
So we have, uh, if we've done two, one, 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 one. Okay, it isn't the right spot. Oh, so there we're on round four. Okay, yeah, there we go. Um, oh, and then it wants to use its new heart-shaped box again. Healing this client, right? Or who's he healing? Okay, it uses the arrow, so it heals this one, and then this turns. Okay, don't okay, schmoke. Oh, okay. My turn. We're talking about my turn. Uh, let's get, we have a red. I'd like to go and get more tags for this scoring unequal tags. So that's one, two, three unequal tags. So I'm getting three. That would take me to five unequal tags, which would give me 10 points. I need to get this published. I have one red. There's one red in there. So we're going to research. There we go. Research twice. Uh, red, red, and purple. I want that, actually. And then I can swap. Okay, so I have everything I need to do that later. I guess these are pointing this way. Okay, it's turn. Let's take me up this spot here. And give me three ink blots, which is over here. Gives it a coffee. Um, gives it two coffee. It's turned into a heart shaped box. And then it gets a location tag, which is one coffee. That goes out of the game. Rotates this. This is actually, I think, really well done. Um, triggers its leftmost column. Uh, it tries to treat its clients, treating this client. First, then rotating this. This needs to have a little bit more steps in it so you remember what to do. It's like, do your ink block and then resolve the card row. But I guess that is the whole ink block action. I think I spent that right idea. Don't know why it's there. Back to me. Um, I can only do this up to two times, so I can't put a thing in here. We're going to publish twice. Ooh, these all give me things I don't have resources for, so we're not going to publish twice. Uh, we're going to spend our resources. Um, so we need a bird. So I'm going to spend two copy, the two that I have, to swap. Oh, but we don't have the. Hmm. We don't have enough coffee. Okay, so we're going to have to do this action. So we're going to do a swap for this. And then we need a miner? What the heck did they call these? 
baby medium armor. Anyway, we need one of these, so we'll upgrade this. That was a swap and an upgrade. And then we get another upgrade. We need a fire up. So now we need a we need a bat signal. Um, okay, so we will do this with an action. So we can do it twice. So we'll do another swap. And we need we need that. Okay, so we have that bat, that and that, that and that. Okay. This bottom one is going to be a fire, which I can get with coffee later, probably. And then menu, menu, menu. Um, we did. Did we just do the raise or the swap? We swapped. So we can raise. Oh, these are two minors. So I need more swaps. So I did all that just for a swap? No. We'll do, we'll do just one. We'll get coffee later somehow. Okay. Kids turn. Ha! Huh, the spot I just went to. Um, so it says to go up if it's in the spot I'm in. So it goes here. It's going to move. Oh, does it move these ink blocks or this ink block? Based off of this, so it goes one, it goes here, goes one again. It's this last idea triggers the most unlocked tiles row. Oh no, it just gets the thing. Oh yeah, there is. I like how when it's player board. Most notebook ties flipped. Okay. Uh, so it's getting an insight, which is a copy. We're moving Freud. Um it has two of those, so it gets two more coffee. And then the heart shaped box. Then it gets research and swaps it. And then publishes, which gives it another coffee. You know, those had tags on them, I need to see. Oh, it was supposed to swap with this one. Which gave it three coffee. Oh, so that's a part sheet box. Back down to zero. Um, so it had got this one instead, and then that rotates. Uh, and then it takes this tile, gets three coffee again. Okay, it uses the tart shaped boxes, one on here, rotates, one on here, rotates. Right? No, only once. Oh, it's still facing me this way. And that spent those boxes. Okay. We're going to treat clients. Spending. Need that one. This on this. Or three hearts, one, two, and three, and a Freud movement. 
I'm going to go one and two with Freud so that I'm, uh, he's on my spot. So that I get... Um, Oh, that will trigger the most effects, actually. So here is two. So if he goes to the opera, it's two. If he goes to the art museum, it'll be one. On the spot I'm at will be two. Um, oh, okay. I, have, well, I have two building tags. He can't reach there. Yeah, so it's best to do this one, which will be two. Um, I will convert an egg to a research. Um, I am doing purples, right? Go for a bigger one. I have red, red, purple. That would mean I need a green. Oh, is there, there's no green. Red, red, purple for that one. Um, okay, but this one's got a heart shape box on it, so I can play it for that. Uh, so that's one of the actions that I can do. And then I can raise somebody. We do need to get someone up to a chicken, a bird for that other one. So we'll do the raise. Okay. Um, why was I doing for you? Oh, because of this card. Um, this card doesn't match uh, this card's line. He's now healed, giving me 10 points. And three points at the end of the game for every... Oh, I'm at 36. And then I have to get a new person. Um, and it's that I don't have for treated clients. I don't have uh, getting many treated clients. When I recall, I get two ideas or purple. That sounds cool. This starts at five. He's got a cloud, so I'm going to keep this one. Give me a bright idea, give me a bright idea, give me a bright idea. Okay. And that refills, that refills, these. Okay, that was my treating clients. Uh, I could treat, no, I'm out of coffee, so I don't have a swap. Okay, um, they have two ideas left. So they're taking it over. I'm there, so I'm gonna go here. There are four ink blots. One, two, three, four. I need to go four again. One, two, three, four. Activating this row. That's a copy. Get to convert into a heart shaped box. Uh, oops, that's supposed to go over here. Uh, that's two copy for this side, and that side's a copy. That's three copy. Um, Oh, I've been doing the wrong one this whole time. I was supposed to be doing the top one. That's okay. We will pretend this happened then. Um, so this is a suppress action, a suppress. Oh, wait, they just get a copy for this side and then they get, that's a tag. So that's another copy. So that's two more copy, five, four, up to two. And then this flips. I think I may have forgot to flip that once, and now they get this. Uh, okay, and now they have clients. They're going to serve this client first. Rotate this, then they're going to serve this client. They get catharsis, which gives them five points. 19. Um, they don't have a matching set up here. Uh, this now comes onto here. And uh, they get two raises, which is two more coffee. Uh, gives them the three. Now we spent the heart shape boxes. Am I supposed to be checking if they get those? 
Also, I'm not even checking if I got those. Two traces, no. What's that one? Player color insight in a district. A bubble bonus slot, no. Two columns on my board, no. Five clients, no. Three minor clients, no. Two major clients, no. Okay, I don't have any milestone rewards. Okay, on my turn, I still need to get these spent. Um, there's no like get coffee. Uh, if I go there, oh, I could get coffee, but only one. And I need two to swap. I really haven't gone around that many times. I'm missing these. No, I swear I must have this. Which will allow me to convert one into a heart shaped box. I've got to. There's no way. I cheat all the time, though, apparently. So. I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. Uh. What was I doing? We're going to play two research cards. We're going to get a heart shaped box. And un fuego, a major passion. Or do I want two eggies? Oh, that's good for now. Uh, it doesn't have any things left, so they're going to recall. They're getting three coffee. Give them to six, drops them to two in the heart shaped box. Um, and then they do a location um, here, where, where Freud is. This is blocked. It gives them a reputation. There's the game timer. Where the it has location tags matching the district equal to or exceeding the bonus numbers. Oh, did I do that wrong? It prefers to claim district bonus. If it has an unlocked player color uh -huh, and meets the conditions, then in the districts with the its professor and Freud. Oh, I'm supposed to do that in two spots. The id selects the highest value vacant bonus slot where the id has location tags matching the district equal to or exceeding the bonuses number. If tied, the id selects the district with its professor. Oh, check the two. Okay, so you don't have to reputation, mother trucker, because you don't have these. Oops. But you do have two of these and two operas. So that's four. 
things here. So this should have been the other action. Okay, so it should have taken this and that lightning bolt. is not on the exchange card. And triggers the slots effect. Okay, so it's going to trigger this again. Oh, it moves. I think I've been doing this wrong. But can only figures or tags. Yep. So this is going to be two, which gives him two coffee, which gives him four, which gives him a heart shaped box. This gives him a research card that he swaps with this card, rotates the arrow, plays, gives him a coffee. This eliminates. This tile, which gives him a copy and a copy. This gives him a copy, which gives him another heart shaped box. Distributes these evenly, starting with this one and going to this one and then back to this one. They have finally healed somebody. Don't know when they missed their catharsis. Two. Five points, one, two, three, five. This goes on here. So, and we get eight points. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, now they're catching up. You're in danger, girl. Okay, that was Id's recall. I have to recall. I get three coffee. Um, mine or Freud's district. Um, I have two. I have one, two, two purple tags, so that's not enough to claim this. Um, so I take one of these and get, I'm going to do this one. Why has it got the ZZs? Oh, the whole thing is for the ZZs, that's right. Turn my thing, which gives me two of these. Um, convert one to a bright idea, and a copy, get another major, and get another minor. Right. Oh, so I do all my recall. I need one of these for the regular turn. Instead of this big giant player rate I have that I printed off of BGG. No, oh, that's it. Okay, their turn. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, oh, that should be over there. They take that spot, move one ink pot, move another ink pot, um, activating their leftmost tile, moving Freud again. That gives them two, three, because they now have this tag. 
or no, Vic gets two because of the tags, or two because of fried sets too, so they get two coffee. <sighs> they take this one. Which gives them one more coffee. Oh crap, there's things on here. They get three actions, that's one more coffee. And then they'll have one more coffee about there. Okay. Um, and then they truncate this off, uh, which is one coffee and one tag. That's two more coffee. I forgot to give them a client. I'm just pointing this way. Let's cycle over. And then we'll the highest. And that starts at six. Gives them a point. Oh, where did my arrow go? I used the heart shape box on them. This. They're going to destroy me in Indian coin. Oh my god, this is going forever. Okay, it's already been an hour of the solo. Have you not been getting any reputation? Because there would have been reputation for those which it didn't get. How else do you get reputation? It got its one from the tile. Oh, I guess it just keeps not landing on this spot, which would get it a reputation. Weird. Okay. Oh, uh, that, that was their turn. My turn. Uh, we're going to spend two coffee to swap to a bird so I can do that later. Oh, let me do that now. And we're going to spend. I wish I could convert ideas to coffee. And then that, so you get two heals, the triggers catharsis and the bright idea. Catharsis, this is eyeball and eyeball, so I get a heart shaped box. Did I not spend those heart shaped boxes? Give me two points. Now, this effect I can swap infinitely. That sounds cool. You may repeat this effect as many number of times. Nice. Swap as many times as I want when I do the swap. Okay. Um, Heart shaped boxes, one, two, three, four. Triggers a catharsis, which is six points and two minors. And this is a, oh, but I didn't use the dream. So the cloud and the cloud, I don't think trigger. I think that's only if you used the dream. Monsieur Catharsis, where are you? True clients, Catharsis.
You do not gain the heart shaped box. Okay. Um, you are free of grief. That was my treat client action. They are going to come block this research space. That's okay. We're going to move four ink blocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wow, this is really bad. Okay, uh, one copy for this. One copy for this thought. Turns into a heart shaped box. One copy. Uh, uh, that would be two coffee because there's two actions on there. Two coffee. And then the bottom one. Uh, two coffee plus one coffee. Two coffee plus one coffee is five. So down to one in a heart shaped box. And then we have this action based off of the compass. Triggers the effect of one of its topmost dream cards. Oh, applying the therapy points to the clients below. As when the treat clients, then it discards the dream. The, it chooses the two clients of dream cards, uses the compass arrow to know which dream card to trigger. Okay, so it triggers this dream card, which is two, uh, and that has an excess healing, so that gives them a heart shaped box. And that gives them three points. One, two, three. Um, uh, they don't have a matching grief layer. They don't need the resources. Okay. Um, that was that effect. And then this is an up, which is going to copy. And then they use their heart shaped boxes. They got four of them. This rotated. So, oh, wait. Crap. Okay, you'll go up here. Mm. Okay, discarding. You want to do that. This comes out. It's never here. So, they're taking this one. It rotates again. We're taking the one with the most. Time like that now it rotates again. These come out roughly fill these all. Okay, this now has one, two, three, four, five, six. Why are you getting another point, you jerk? Oh, great, now we're tied. This isn't good. Uh, okay. And then it starts over here, one box, two box, three box, four box. <sighs> okay, that's them. Back to me. So going with my original idea, I wanted to feel how publishing works. We're going to publish. Two cards. Oh, we don't have resources to use, so we're going to fire minor minor. Okay, we're going to heal this client with a major minor and a minor. That's three and an instant tag location. One, two, three, they are cured. Four ten points. And I get to activate any tag, um, which will be, we've got two coffee, two buildings, two, uh, we're going coffee actually, two, two coffee shops will give me, and you're going to do that twice to get two coffee. Okay, so that's my tag activation, and then I get my 10 points, now I'm at 48. Um, that was treat clients. Can I treat this one? They need a bird, so I'm going to spend two coffee to swap the bird and they need a sprout. But we do not have, um, and we don't have any heart shaped boxes. 
Okay, so then we're going to draft a new person. We're going to take another 10 pointer. When it's an eyeball, we're going to take the eyeball, which gives me appropriate me points. Oops, I'm supposed to take a later stream first. Oh, there's a lot of fire going on here. A lot of fire going on right here. Oh, we got four, five, six, seven. That gives me two points. And it'll give me a point when I go down. Two points. You can't treat the client I just got, I don't think so. Okie dokie, that's my turn. It's turn. Blocking this spot that I wanted to go to. Doing three movement. One, two, three. Moving Freud again. Ah, oh, shit, I've been doing this wrong. That's why I went like this, didn't I? Or no, I didn't. I did. Okay. No, okay. Now he goes to Freud's spot. Wait, he activates this. Copy tags. We've got one copy tag and one Freud. So it gives them one copy. Now they're coming here. This would be two copy. It's again, five down to one and a heart shaped box. That, that, and that. They take this one. Um, where'd their other one go? Hmm. Where did it go? Oh, put it under there. Okay, that gives them a reputation, which triggers the game timer. Oh, but I'm not getting reputation. It was an hour when I started recording. So now it's been an hour and a half, I think, looks like. Um, okay. Heart shape box. Oh, this rotated. So we look here. Tharsis, eight points and two copy. Two points, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, this gets any tag. And that also got them a copy. We'll get another heart shaped box, walk them down. Um, so they put that on this one, which also triggers catharsis, and another copy. And three points. One, two, three. And this tag. Yay, they're kicking my butt. Uh -huh. Why does it say or rep? Oh, okay. Uh, my turn then, right? I think I'm running out of steam here. We're going to publish now that we've got the resources. Get two more smallers, and then we get a major flyer. Red, 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 purple, red. Red, 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 purple. I could get a green. Oh, but the spot's for you. Block. Block a day. Do, 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 do. Two spots. One, two. A copy for Fuego, a major for a heart shaped box. Uh, oh, but I needed that for that. Oh, but they're one away. And then we're going to use our heart shaped box to heal this person. Go away. Get eight points. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
When I sleep, I get true bright ideas. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. I need to heal one more person to get that reward. Um, and I have healed, healed three miners now. So I get a reputation. Causing the game timer. Good. Now the game's starting to end. Oh, and I got that minor one too. So I want that. This person is only healing for four. Blatant drain. It's two. Um, it's got so much of this stuff. What about cloud? Let's go for the cloud. Okay. They're out of ideas. So they're getting one, two, three coffee, which gives them a heart shoot box. Um, they try to claim a location bonus that are at the coffee. They have one coffee tag. Oh, no, district. So they have one coffee tag and then random. So that's two coffee tags. That's not enough. So they take this, and that icon and translate to a heart shaped box. Um, what else did they do on the end of their turn? Oh, they heal. Okay, they got two heart shaped boxes and they're starting over here. One, two, and then it splits. And then they're out of boxes. And then it's my turn. They are out of my way. I want to publish. Oh, I can't point to the same action twice. I will get research then to try and get a green. Nope. Yes. Um, and then I don't have the hardship boxes. And then I move four times. One, two, three, four. Why am I getting this? And we're going to activate, I guess, this row. One of these becomes a bright idea. And then we get another puppy, which we'll put on this one because we get the fuego in the thing. Shouldn't have used that coffee swap earlier. Oh, and that gives me one of those as well. I don't have anything. Um, crud. Okay. What now? It's turn. Lock in this spot. Two. Oh my gosh, it the one spot. Three coffee. Two spot. Oops. Three coffee. One hard shape box. Trigger this dream effect. They don't match. Two, one, two. This is healed. For 12 points. Crap. It just skipped over me. 
And that gives them another coffee. Oh, and that gave them coffee. So that's another heart J box. When do you recruit? Immediately after you heal or at the end of your turn? Yeah, at the end of your turn. Okay, so then we can use those two boxes to heal this person for another eight points. This one, turn it again. Yes, one, yes, one. Gosh, you. All because of the two movement day. Huh. I don't have coffee. Can I claim a district bonus? Oh, that's only at the end. I'm going to recall so that I can publish next turn. It gives me two coffee. Oh, I don't have a disc. There are any ways to be, take a district spot. Um, so I get a lark. And you have to spend a coffee, kill somebody to turn it into a lark. Um, it's turn. One, two. Activates a full row. Moves Freud. Up to three where they have tags. They want to go to the happy face and hit three, which gives them three coffee. That and they are swapping this. Oh, I didn't check these. I get that. Have some two more copy. Let's go down to a heart shaped box. Um, take out one and one copy. And then they're healing, it is rotated, so they're going to this person, oh, which started at eight. She gave them three points. And now they're healing them one, which gives them two points. And this is rotating again. Right there. And uh, that's done. My turn. I'm going to publish. Two cards, minor grass, and a lark. I can't even use those. It's turn. Four movement, one, two, three, four. Does that again? One, two, three, four. Oh. Free coffee. And a little heart shaped box. Free coffee. Five. No, four to zero. Turns into a heart shaped box. Does this dream affect? Oops, this question supposed to be X. 
three, four, five. Tails three, one, two, three. Gets a bright idea. Triggers catharsis. That card shouldn't have been in there. Triggers catharsis for one point and a coffee. Changes the arrow, heals this person first, one point, and then they heal this person. Thank you, then change the arrow. My turn, we're gonna recall and get a coffee. And then we're going to Get our district bonus. But we now have a couple more tags, I think. We have two, three. Oh, but we don't have a bloody do hit me. Don't. Okay, so then I get nothing. What happens when that's full? Do you get nothing? Any vacant spot? No. Uh, during sleep, I get two bright ideas. And this one. Oh, but I'm not going to be able to publish a tree because I don't have a tag. Oh, so it wasn't even a point to recall. I haven't caught a tag yet. Don't. So I need to get this, which I can get with one coffee. Okay. So they're doing a recall anyway, so they're getting three coffee, which turns into a heart-shaped box. Then they're going to claim a district bonus. And there's or Freud's spot. They have one, two, three happy faces. Um, and they don't have any coffee, coffee cups. So they have one, two, oh, well, three coffee cups. So they prefer their space first. Okay, three, four. Five actually. So they get two heart shaped boxes and three ink blocks. One, two, three. Oh my god. This is exhausting. Moves to the most tags. You got two there, so that's two more coffee. He's got four heart shaped boxes already. He can't get any more. What happens then? He gets two points for each of them. Okay, there's two coffee, which is another heart shaped box, which is two points. Um, oh, he was supposed to do Freud's location first, which was happy faces, which is another three coffee. Then we did that. Now we do this. He's taking this one, which is another reputation. She up the game timer. Oh, I guess those two will do another two copies. So that's another heart-shaped box, which is another two points. And then this had rotated. So one, two, three. Four, I'm going for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very 
I've now also got this. Um, Darcy's this happens for another eight and two more copies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, they're kicking my ass. Hello, Nezuko. Oh, why is this over here? Um, okay, dokey. What's next? So I was then claiming their district bonus, which gives them ink blocks, which gives them heart shaped boxes, which gives them all of that stuff, and all of that stuff, and all of that stuff. Oh, and they also have this. They are now in two districts. Uh, that 10, that. Okay, we're just going to score at this point. Score points regularly. Because <sighs> I am tired of this and I definitely lost. Reputation track. Five and three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Far that's a long two. One, two. One. Oh, per publisher's tree. They don't have any. Uh -huh. One, two. Fair point. Oh, and one point per cured client. Oh, okay, crap. So they got two, four, six, eight, and twelve. Now I'm getting one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Count the number of different districts where you have at least one. Player color insight placed above a district bonus slot, then score the corresponding number of points indicated by the city map. Okay, they are in two districts. So they're getting 10 points. Notebook tile rows. They've completed two rows for five points. Seven, I have completed no rows for no points. Different location tags. Okay, this I might have at least. Think about one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're all six for 15 points. Uh, they've got to have all six. Yeah, because they've got to blow their tags out. Oh, plus a wild. So they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. Yeah, they also have six for 15 points. Five, and 42. Case study clients without brief layers, none, them. And score the appropriate number of victory points shown on each card. Oh, 
Oh, including period clients. So that one on there. This one, this one, this one. Score. Okay, so for every green pair. Why doesn't it tell me green district location tags? Oh, Nina Frank. Green location tag score three victory points to a max of 15. Okay. Three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my God, they're going to lap me. 10 is 52, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, oh, it's a maximum of 12. 1, 2, 3. Um, Bertha von Splinter, for each space you advance on the reputation track, score three points. What? So maximum of 12, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. For each red tag, two points, two, four, six, eight, 12, 14, 16 to a max of 12. Oh man. Okay, those are its three scoring ones. You only have one. Yeah, I only have one. Treatises and location spots, I get three points. Two, three. Um, heart shaped boxes. One to two. Oh my gosh, they still had four left. Oh no, I used them to get those clients. Coffee and bright ideas. Three coffees for one bright idea. Then score one for every bright idea. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, 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 two, and then three. One, two, three. And the id wins. I lost horribly to the solo bot. Uh, we're going to clean this up, and we'll see you next time, everybody. Bye.